So what if the Pixel 7a marked the first major great improvement from the lineup coming from Google? As yes, we have the first report on what to expect for the future affordable Pixel, and it sounds pretty complete. Ice Universe just shared more camera samples for the Galaxy S23 Ultra that look pretty enticing. And what if Apple actually figured out their VR headset for sometime next year. I'm Jaime Rivera and aloha from Hawaii as we are ready for the Snapdragon Summit that starts tomorrow. Stay tuned for a ton of coverage. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today are non-existent because you and I know that is starting tomorrow. For now, let's start today with Apple because it seems like their mixed reality project could arrive earlier than we thought. The mixed reality headset by Cupertino has been rumored for years now, but after a report by Bloomberg, we could see it uh, find the light of day sometime in 2023. The report mentions that the company keeps hiring more and more staff to work on their AR and VR technology including a former engineer from Apple who departed the company last year. Mark Ehrman also stated that the development of the first version of the operating system that will run on the mixed reality headset is almost done and that it should be ready for the hardware next year. Despite Apple drastically cutting down on hiring amid the bad economic situation all companies are dealing with, Apple is still on the lookout for people to join the teams working on the headset. One of the most notable listing targets engineers that work on building, quote, tools and frameworks to enable connected experiences in a 3D mixed reality world, end quote. According to German, this also sounds like a virtual environment that is similar to the metaverse. Apple has also recruited Dave Scott, who left the company to become the CEO of a healthcare startup, meaning that we could see some health applications for the headset due to this work in the medical field and robotics as well. So far, it's expected that Apple will announce the first version next year, but it will be expensive and won't target mass consumers. Instead, it should be focused on pro users and developers. Now let's talk about Samsung since we have more camera samples of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Last week, Ice Universe shared a comparison of the S22 Ultra and the S23 Ultra. And well, now we have an image taken by that newer model that's coming and it's compared to the Pixel 7 Pro. The images are once again crops from the full photo, but at least this time we now get to see that the object is a pumpkin. The image processing of the S23 Ultra, which is the image on the left, is clearly in the Samsung style of more saturated colors. However, the texture of the pumpkin on that one is sharper than the other two samples. The S23 Ultra's camera does a better job of picking up the pumpkin's superficial details, while the other photos give the surface a bit of a glossier, smoother treatment. And just as a reminder, it is rumored that the upcoming Ultra model will have a 200 megapixel main camera sensor. And uh, well, this time apparently we're getting 12 megapixel, 50 megapixel, and up to 200 megapixel full shooting modes. It is also reported that the 200 megapixel main sensor will be basically the same size as the S22 Ultra, but with a slightly brighter aperture, which is not necessarily good news considering that the iPhone 14 Pro Max already has a larger sensor. Finally, Ice Universe has been praising the performance of the device in the dark, but has yet to share photos, so we'll keep you posted. Moving on, let's talk about Google for the first time as, uh, believe it or not, we have more information for their next Tensor chip and even their Pixels. This year, the Pixel 7 was powered by the Tensor G2, which launched just a month ago, but information for the next lineup and the chipset is already starting to surface. According to Win Future, the two upcoming Google Pixel phones already have a code name, Shiba and Husky. The report also mentions that once again, we'll see a new generation of the Tensor SoC, which is already in the works, and that is codenamed Zuma. The details of the new chipset are still speculative, but it's reported that it will use the same 5G G5300 modem used on the G2 and developed by Samsung. As for the phones, the report claims the Shiba model will have a 2268 by 1080 display, while the Husky version will have a 2822 by 1344 resolution. And finally, both models are believed to arrive with up to 12 gigs of RAM, which sounds promising. However, we're still, what, like a year away? So take everything with a grain of salt. 
And finally, for the hottest news today, let's get back to Google since we have the first report of the Pixel 7a, which won't be powered by that chip apparently. I know, we just got the Pixel 6a a couple of months ago, but you know the way this industry works. Uh, here's the thing, one of the top items that anyone's wish list had was uh, having a high refresh rate display on these devices, and now it seems like the company heard those complaints. According to a new report, the Pixel 7a will feature a full HD plus 90 hertz panel powered by Samsung. Also, it uh, was initially reported that the 7a codename Lynx was going to feature a triple camera setup featuring the G and one, an IMX787 and an IMX712 sensor, but hold it right there. The report claims that the GN1 sensor was removed from the code and that there is only two sensors, that IMX787, which will power the primary camera, and the ultra-wide sensor, which is the IMX712. Now, if these rumors are real, it will be a huge upgrade compared to the Pixel 6a since those cameras were, what, like half a decade old? And finally, the Pixel 7a will also feature wireless charging for the first time, but the bad news is that apparently it'll stick to 5 watts. In today's question, let us know, I mean, how important would it be for you to get high refresh rate on the display of the Pixel 7a? Because in my case, it's something nice to have, but not necessarily a deal breaker for me. So long as whatever Google does doesn't break the price tag, I'll be fine. But that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me uh, fight jet lag as I travel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.